Top 10 Dumbest Things Bought by NBA Players Hey everyone and welcome back to Bucket Central. Athletes buy and spend money on some pretty outrageous things, which explains why 60% of NBA players file for bankruptcy just 5 years after retiring. So light a cigar with a $100 bill and put your feet up on a diamond encrusted stool as Bucket Central presents Top 10 Dumbest Things Bought by NBA Players. Make sure you stay until the end for some things that are so crazy it'll blow your mind. Number 10. A Car Fish Tank There is no universe where you would expect to find a fish tank built into a car. Well, Shaquille O'Neal went a step further and built a fish tank inside a car body and had the monstrosity placed in his living room. I know people love Shaq and all his funny stunts, but you have to admit it was one of the dumbest things ever. Shaq reportedly made close to a billion dollars during his NBA career and currently owns everything from fast food joints to car washes and a whole load of Google shares. He definitely has the money to spend. In 2008, he decided the living room inside a $16.5 million home could do with an upgrade. But no, he didn't want a chandelier or a new couch. Shaq wanted a fish tank. Not any fish tank, a fish tank built into a truck. His friends and family must have thought he was joking, but the big guy actually did it. He had a fully functional fish tank built into the front frame of a truck. The only bad news is, the first lot of fish he brought into the life tank died on the way over because the music was too loud in his car. Number 9. A Personal Mascot Most NBA teams have mascots to hype the players and fans during pregame, halftime, and postgame, and they are great fun and kids love them. The Detroit Pistons have their own team mascot, but in 1998 one player was not content with sharing Hooper with the whole franchise. In addition to his own fan website and cheering section, Jerome Williams now wanted his own mascot. And that's exactly what he bought. Jerome got himself a mascot, resembling a junkyard dog. To this day, 16 years after he left the league, one of Jerome's nicknames is Junkyard Dog. You don't believe me? Check out his Instagram. Number 8. Exotic Cats Ben Simmons loves wild animals. Maybe it's because the 6.9-foot point guard grew in the rolling Australian wild. When the Sixers maxed him out by signing him to a 5-year, $177 million maximum contract, Ben decided to indulge himself and get a cat. But being a millionaire, he wasn't going to get any cat. Ben Simmons opted for a female Savannah cat, which cost $4,000. Don't ask me what's so important about the breed. Maybe the cat lovers watching this video can explain to me in the comments why the cats cost so much. I just don't understand it. But Ben Simmons wasn't done yet. After a few weeks, he decided to get a male Savannah cat for $6,000 to keep the other company. But things did not go as planned. Both cats started becoming very aggressive toward their caretakers, and Ben had to send them back. No refunds, of course. He said it was a bad deal. I call it a dumb deal. Number 7. $23,000 Giant Bed Al Ricardo Jefferson grew up in Mississippi in the late 1980s. The guy was always tall for his age, a factor that would serve him well later on in life when he became an NBA player. But in those early days, his height really bothered him. No, Al was not bothered by the skinny short boys he was dunking on in the gym. His problem lay with his bed. Al could never seem to fit in the small bed his mom got him. He would squirm at night trying to curve his legs to a comfy position. He swore that once he got into the NBA, he would buy the biggest bed anyone had ever seen. So it was Al Jefferson who splashed $25,000 for a bed so huge it would have fit the entire Jazz team for a sleepover. The dude was just tired of sleeping in short beds, so maybe we should give him a break. Number 6. A $72,000 Chef Athletes are not paid millions of dollars for their sharp brains and intellect. Sorry, Malcolm Brogdon. We know you have a master's in public policy, but if you're an athlete, it doesn't count. They are supposed to be so stupid and bad with their money, and nobody epitomizes this than Eddie Curry. No, he has a relationship to Steph Curry. Eddie Curry was in the league from 2001 to 2019 and had to be one of the worst people on earth when it comes to managing and saving money. The man was collecting a $20 million check per year and still had unpaid loans. The presiding judge on his case was astonished and called for a complete audit of his financial records. What emerged shocked everyone. This guy spent $17,000 per month for his family and friends, took almost $600,000 in a Vegas casino loan at 85% interest, and, wait for it, paid a $6,000 monthly salary to his private chef and over $1,000 monthly in cable. What? They must have special cable fees for dumb NBA players who'd never check their bills. Number 5. A $4.3 million jet In the majority of cases, jet planes are never a good idea. 
Unless you're Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates, there is a reason even the super rich prefer chartered planes and jet leases. But I'm going to try to put that aside and attempt to understand the circumstances that led to retired Bulls great Scotty Pippen's ill-fated purchase of a $4.3 million Gulfstream jet in 2002. The decision to purchase an airplane doesn't seem like something that most people would take lightly. Not Pippen. The man forked out over $4.3 million of his own money for a jet without knowing what he was doing. You would think the first thing you'd want to know when buying a jet is if the thing could actually fly. Turned out the Gulfstream jet couldn't fly. Instead, the jet needed over $1 million worth of repairs to hit the skies. Damn. Scotty Pippen, the Robin to Michael Jordan and one of the most respected players of all time, shelled out a whopping $4.3 million for a crappy jet. Luckily for him, the story ends with a touch of good news. After the jet was grounded for years, Pippen pursued a lawsuit against his own lawyer, who he blamed for missing the inspection. He was later awarded $2 million for his troubles. So, dumb or not dumb? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Honorable mention, a bad cave. In 2008, Indiana Pacers small forward Danny Granger announced his intention to build a version of Batman's legendary headquarters if he ever built a house. Granger was an avid comics and video game fan, and he wanted a real-life Batcave. He wanted an underground tunnel, but he quickly found out the state codes and regulations were not too keen on that. The underground thing still persisted though, and the builders informed reporters it would take almost a year to complete the project. But soon after, that update came to a screeching halt and nobody knows if the Batcave was really built. It doesn't really matter if he completed the project or not, just by virtue of having begun building makes it one of the dumbest things ever done by an NBA player. Number 4. Gold Pendant NBA stars and athletes have a lot in common. Mostly NBA stars want to be rappers and rappers want to be NBA stars. One thing which they both yearn for is a great jewelry piece. The goat of all jewelry is a shiny custom-made piece. One of the most ridiculous pieces ever seen came in 2010 from the Boston Celtic guard Marquise Daniels, who dropped a pretty penny on a custom diamond-encrusted replica of his own head. Say what? Yes, his own head. Looking like an object forged in the fires of Mordor from 1300 grams of 14 karat gold, it was an exact replica of Daniels or possibly Whoopi Goldberg. Either way, it was both amazing and terrifying. The piece, which we are now calling one of the dumbest ever, was made by popular jeweler Jason of Beverly Hills, whose clientele boasted actresses such as Jessica Alba and rappers like Lil Jon. Um, now it's starting to make sense. While the cost of the custom price was not disclosed, speculators guessed it was in the six-figure range. Totally obnoxious if you ask me, but what do I know? Number 3. Million Dollar Fish Tank What is it with NBA players and fish tanks? Can't you just get a regular fish tank or take a walk to the aquarium? That's not Gilbert at Arena's style. In 2008, Arena signed a six-year, $111 million deal with the Washington Wizards. He signed the deal after playing just 13 games a year before due to a knee injury. It was a sign of things to come, as Arenas never regained his form and was involved in the infamous guns incident which earned him a suspension for the rest of the season. He received the last check from his giant deal in 2016, but by then he was already on the brink of bankruptcy. This is totally understandable when you consider the things he spent his fortune on. The man bought a million dollar shark tank. He also needed to spend $5,000 a month to feed the sharks, plus employed a caretaker. The fish tank was so humongous, he couldn't sell the mansion without removing it first. Number 2. $21,000 Crystal Bottles It pains me to include the Black Mamba in this list, but it is what it is. The reason making this purchase dumb is not what was bought, but why the purchase was made. In 2007, Kobe and his wife Vanessa attended a grand opening of a nightclub in Las Vegas. The Lakers star watched poker legend Antonio the Magician Esfandiari buy two $1,400 bottles of Cristal Champagne. As urban legend has it, Kobe responded by ordering five bottles. The poker legend upped his game to 10. In typical Kobe fashion, he wouldn't agree to lose. The Black Mamba reportedly purchased 15 bottles, which cost about $21,000, and walked straight out of the club. Is that dumb or dope? Keep in mind, Kobe never actually tasted the bottles. Fight me in the comment section. Number 1. An ATM Machine Deshaun Stevenson played for 13 seasons in the NBA. It's okay if most of you young fans have never heard of him. Basically, the dude was a nobody, just another role player jumping from team to team. In the year 2012, Deshaun was playing for the Washington Wizards in the Eastern Conference playoffs, and his team ran into LeBron. 
Needless to say, Deshaun's team was obliterated by the King. The next season, Deshaun was picked up by the Dallas Mavs, who we all know made a stunning run to the finals. Deshaun's moment in the spotlight came of fame when he girded LeBron for a couple of minutes. When the Mavs won the title, Deshaun Stevenson was ecstatic, acting like the league had finally found a LeBron stopper. Deshaun celebrated by buying and installing an ATM machine in his kitchen. The ATM was rumored to have cost $3,500 to install. It was loaded with $20,000 a few times every year and charged a $4.50 transaction fee. ATM machines are present in almost every corner. Why would you need to install it in your own house charging yourself transaction fees for your own cash? If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. While you're here, go ahead and click one of these two videos on your screen and watch more NBA videos. See you there!